What it do, familiar? It's your boy Taxi PNG, and we're back at it again with another one, man. Today we're doing. What it do, you guys? We're back again, man. We're back again. Yes, I'm about about to bring up the fact that y'all said I talk too much again. LOL. But we're about to go ahead and get started with the day. We're about to go to a boxing training right now. Um, it's kind of like two an hour and a half away, and we're gonna go out there. We're gonna do that one first, and then we have a shoot directly after that with Viana again. Our video went good, so we brought her back. I told you guys, you guys made the videos go good. We will bring people back, so I'm gonna be bringing her back again to do another video um, of a different sort. Let me know if you guys like this type of vibe these series and things like that that i'd be doing and uh yeah i'll keep them coming you know what i'm saying i'll definitely keep them coming but yeah that's it for today i'm trying i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it concise i always say i'm gonna try but actually i'm actually gonna keep it concise i got breakfast cooking i'm about to go get in the car i'm about to pack we're gonna go get um gas deposit some cheese and uh yeah i forgot to show y'all bro but i woke up this morning with a gash in my tire bro i think i was just like focusing on it so much that like i didn't even talk about it but it's crazy bro I've had to like refill my my air in my tire like four times now. I just got to my booking and now I'm trying to think like what are my next plans of action after this? Like I'm not trying to make it feel like oh my god, it's such a big thing, but like bruh, like when you really don't have it, it's hard. Like I really don't have the money, bro, to be dealing with this right now, bro. Oh my god, let's see how bad it got. It's pissing me off, man. It's pissing me off, bro. Like, I'm already struggling with my car. Like, it's not as bad as it was, but it's gonna get worse because it's gonna just keep getting flatter. I don't even know where I can go to get my tire fixed. I don't know where I can go to do anything. I just know that I'm waiting for my client and she's about to pay me and I'm about to use all the money that she gives me to fix my car, literally. <sighs> it's one of those things, man. This is one of them things, bro. Like, everybody wants to be a creative. Everybody wants to, you know, road run, do all these things and be able to, you know, get to and from. And it's hard because a lot of my bookings, I have to drive to. And if I have to drive to the bookings to make the money, then that puts wear and tear on my car, whether that's my tires or my engine or whatever it is, bro. It's crazy, man. I don't got nothing else to say. I don't really have anything motivation to say either. I'm just mad and sad, but uh, fuck it, we ball. Boxing bags, boxing. She didn't wait for me to come inside. We always have to do this because it's really weird trying to wrap your hand With backwards. these, like with the tape and like gauze, it's easier from the front. Small hand problems. You don't have to turn on the music. Yeah, I'll put some music. I'm like, something's missing, what is it? Afterwards, that too loads that thing. Okay. So you're already in position for it. Okay. So once you come in, pop, pop. Hit. You're already loaded for it. Don't come in here. You're adding an extra step that's going to need to get it here. Okay. One, two, one, two. One more out. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? One, two, one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. One, two, two, two. Get this hand back. Oh, hold on. I gotta sweat my eye. <laughs> hold on. That's staying a little bit. That's a new experience. Woo! Sweating eyes, a new experience? Yup. That's <laughs> never happened to me before. Oh my god. Yup. <laughs> Lift it again. Mm. Drive off and sink on it. There you go. You see how you have more pop on that too? There you go. Once you sit, boom, and you hit, just go right from there. One, two, three, step, two, three, right there. Okay. One, two, three, step, two, three. Don't 
going away with them. Mix it up. All right, you guys, so now we are leaving the um, boxing match. We just finished that. Now we're headed to go meet up with um, Viana for our shoot today. She was gonna cancel it. She was like, it's okay, you know, just deal with what you gotta deal with, taxi. But honestly, photo shoots bring me happiness. So like, if I just have a full day of like BS, I'm not gonna be happy all day. So I would rather, you know, have like a few minutes of like, you know, sorrow and then like the rest of the day be pretty happy. Like I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with my tire after a while, bro. Like I'm gonna just ride really, really slow and just fuck it, bro. Like I'm gonna just figure it out. Um, but I just know that photo shoots bring me happiness. So I'm not gonna cancel my photo shoot because of this, bro. Like I, I genuinely love what I do, bro. Like there's a lot of people out here who just say that they love what they do and they don't love what they do, bro. Like I, I bleed. I bleed photography, bro. Like, I literally, I love what I do, bro. So it's like, I can't even sit here and say like, you know, I'm gonna cancel a shoot or anything because that is what, that's what fuels me. You know what I'm saying? That's what brings me happiness, bro. Like, so we're about to head over there, man. And we're about to do um, that. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for still watching and tapping in with me. I'm about to try to find a gas station so I can get some, um, some air in my tire. I gotta take a lot of wide turns. I can't take any, um, you know, any sharp turns, I'll mess up my rear, my rim, and then I can't take any um, I can't take any um, sharp turns, and then I also can't drive too too fast because the wheel will mess up. Yeah, so we're about to find a gas station right now. Yo, man, so my battery's low key a little bit low on the microphones, but it is what it is. Fuck, we ball. We have Visa Raw. Visa Raw here once again, man. It's a whole lot of gas. We're about to go ahead and about to go ahead and get started, man. So we're out here. You guys can see the location. It's a really crazy location. Don't ask me where I'm at because I'm gatekeeping, but I also don't know. So that so is it really gatekeeping? But this is the vibe that we have today. You know what I'm saying? As always, I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look. I might have gave it to you already in the beginning of this video, but of her outfit and stuff like that. And then a little bit more of like the ambiance of the location because this location is insane. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot going on that way. And then there's like rocks right here. And then there's like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. There's no buildings in sight. And if you see a building in the back, that's that's a lie. It's not a building. It's a recreational facility. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just thinking about here. Like I kind of see like a lot of like elegant, nice, cute stuff. Maybe even like, I don't know, she's kind of short. Her sitting up here would be illegal, so maybe sitting on that side because just in case you do fall, then like yeah. you don't fall that way into the water. That would be viral, and that would be viral, viral video. We've already seen a few snakes, you guys, and um, yeah, we've seen a few water bugs and stuff like that right now. Um, this this water is dark, so it's like I can't see nothing when looking down. But we're about to go ahead and start. We're doing natural light photography today. Oh, I'm sorry. Shit. I've been talking this whole time. Y'all told me I talk too much. So apparently that's a problem. Bro, they talked about your, the video with you. And I had like three, four people say, bro, less talking, more shooting. I was like, excuse me. And somebody else was like, bro, you talk too much. And I was did like, you think the shoot was and I was like, like, did damn. you think the shoot was as long as the video? Like, because I was we like, were out there for hours. damn. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry because my mindset is, the same amount of time that you took to, to scroll down and type that, you could have just left. Like the same amount of time you took, you could have just left and found another video, no cap. Like, yeah, oh my God, you don't care that we're watching your video or not? Bro, if you don't like me, just leave because it's gonna end up helping me out so much more because I just need those who are for me here and those who are not for me gone, bro. And it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I'm not, I don't want to be for everyone, you know what I'm saying? I want to have that audience that loves me and that I create for and I dedicate stuff to. So I had, I had way more people tell me that they like my rambling than people tell me that they don't like it. Everybody said, bro, ramble on. I'm learning so much from your rambling. Just you talking just helps. All right, shit. So thank you. I'm gonna keep rambling. Um, and to, I was about to, I, I ain't even gonna give you a shout out because I remember your damn username, but I, I ain't gonna say it because you made me, you triggered me. 
okay? Because if I say a username, I'm giving, that's me giving you a shout out. But that's how it usually is. Bullies be like, oh my God, wah, wah, wah. And then they want you to give them attention. Today, we're not giving them attention. We're shooting with a raw camera. All right, let's get into it. We have the Sony a7S III. It is not in my hand right now. It's over there in my Nanook case. <laughs> you seen the video. You did. You know you did. But we're going to be using that, you guys. And we're going to have the... Um, 24 to 70 lens we're going to have the um a7s3 that we're going to be shooting on which is the sony and then we are going to be at relatively 250 shutter speed um 100 125 iso relatively maybe even a little bit higher because we are in the shaded areas we're not in direct sunlight so as you can see it's more so lit kind of like going this way um, and then we're going to kind of like, you know, no indie filters, nothing like that. Just raw camera flash, natural light photography. I'm going to talk you guys through the settings and I may try to put them on the screen. If I don't, I do apologize for that. But we're going to go ahead and get into this shoot. Show you guys a little bit more of the scenery and the vibes. Let's get it. Yeah. Our shutter is at 250. My F is at, I'm going to put my F at 4 and I'm going to put my ISO down to 640. Nope. I'm going to go down to 125 like I told you before. 125 and then my F is at 2.8. All right. F 2.8. We're going to see. We're going to take a test shot real quick and see how it looks. Take a picture of the foot so we know which photo we're on. Hold it. Let me see. Make sure we're going to do JPEG and RAW. My last shoot, I was doing JPEG by itself. We're doing JPEG and RAW. This one. Always go into your viewfinder to make sure to, to tack sharp your image. Oh, I got the thing in, in, in um, fast mode. Let me see. Hold it, three, two, one, three, two, one. Yeah, it's three, two, one. Yeah, okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I think that I actually might have some really good, some really good coloring right now, and I think that my settings are put together. I'm gonna go to ISO 100 just to see what that 100 does for me. And after I get it set with my settings and everything, I can take my eyes off the viewfinder, put it onto my display menu, and now catch a few shots just like this without having to actually look into my physical, you know, viewfinder and just use my display. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, let's hold it, three, two, one. Three, two, one. So like, give me like a little bit more like, when you're like this, give me more like a lean. Yeah, hold it, three, two, one. Yes, there we go, three, two, one. So as you guys can see right here, we have the leading lines, right? So leading lines going here, leading lines on the floor going towards her. So these little floorboards leading towards her, these little lines right here leading towards her. So it's adding that leading line to gauge the viewer's eyes of the image towards the subject okay taking another photo let's see how it looks three two and one boom three two and one boom yes i love this hold on let me see real quick make a little really real for you guys hold on let me see what is up you guys i'm out here doing an on location photo shoot and right here i have my subject right i'm gonna show you guys the <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys the importance of leading lines, okay? So right here, these floorboards are acting as leading lines towards my subject. This little railing right here on this pier is acting as leading lines towards my subject. And this one as well, leading lines towards my subject. So I'm going to line my subject up, line my shot up with my subject, just like so. Take the shot, and it comes out looking a little something like this. So let me know, will you be using leading lines at your next photo shoot? type shit, little quick little, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> quick little one, two, <laughs> You guys got to see the back behind the scenes. Y'all got to see how it really is, you know what I mean? I'm gonna give y'all a new angle because y'all be getting bored. I'm gonna give y'all a new, a little, a little, a little one, two. A little one, two, ooh, yeah. V came out here giving body today, yes. So I want like a little cross in the middle and like a, mm. Ooh, that way. That way Cause just the, the hair slit is open, yep. There you go, hold it, three, two, and one. Yeah, three, two, and one. Three, two, and one, yes. Lean forward a little bit with it, boom, to pop that out. Yep, hold it. Three, two, and one, yes. Give me a little bit of eye contact right here. Yes, three, two, one. Three, two, one, yes, I love that, love that, love that, love that. Nice, nice addition right there, yep. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm gonna get multiple different angles. You gotta get a little bit low, get a little bit high. Play around with it, you got the sky up top. Change your settings as needed. I'm only going down on my ISO, I'm not changing nothing else. Yep, hold it, hold it, yes, hold it, yes. Now step that, step that right leg out like that. Yeah, just like that and into it, boom. Now this, this right hand, I need you to, mm, boom. There we go, because I want to see that curve right there. But hold it, yep, three, two, one. Yes, three, two, one. Yes, hold it, hold it, hold it. Got great lighting right now. There we go, yes. Yes, there we go. Yes. Look up and off more that way. Hold it, yep. There we go, yep. Multiple different angles, you guys, don't forget. Kind of like get away, get some depth, yep. Yes, there we go. Eye contact with me. Yes, that. I kind of want you to like come here and you're gonna kind of like lean right here. You might like do like this with like this, like this hand. Okay. So it's like, 
Look at this. <laughs> Y'all see it? Bam. Yep. Hold it. Three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. Yep. Three, two, and one. I'm hanging over you guys. Yep. Three, two, and one. There we go. Hold on. Let me see. So I'm out here doing an on-location photo shoot, and this is one of my favorite poses to do whenever I'm at a pier or something of the such, right? So I have her bent over just like this, leaning on it just like so, you know what I'm saying? Just hanging off the arm just a, a little bit with a little, a, little, a little flick of the wrist like that, just like, you see that right there? A little flick of the wrist just like so. I'm gonna line my shot up here, catch it like that. Line my shot up off to the side as well catch it like that and because I have my taxi PNG camera strap it, it doesn't even matter if we're hanging over water or any type of swamp area or anything like that I don't have to worry about it dropping pop that thing back up and we're ready to shoot once again just like so line up those leading lines line up the shot and take it and like that only lasted for like a month after that bro I burnt out for like a week like everything I took off from everything for like a week just to sleep for a whole week just to yeah. charge up mm -hmm. again for that because like I can I can run off of like nothing for a long time but bro not for a long time mm -hmm. <laughs> like I can go like bro like I used to be able to go like 30 days straight and then take a few days like to to recover mm -hmm. 30 days straight take a few days to recover now bro it's like seven straight Seven straight, one recovery. Seven straight, one recovery. And if I miss that one recovery, then bitch is gonna take a week to recover because or something. Even when you're recovering, like you're still. You're still, yeah. Doing life. Yeah, like. you're still. Life's still going. Life is still. You're life. just not going as hard, but you're yeah. still going hard, but just not as hard. And then it stresses you out even more sometimes because then you think about when you gotta go back. Exactly. Like, oh, I gotta go back, like, and then I, you know, now you're even more into it, bro. Nah, it's crazy, bro. It's the life, bro. I'm thinking about like a little like back, just like, yep, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Maybe like try to get your leg a little bit more out of that slit. Like, could you like sh turn your dress a little bit, a little bit? Like shift it, boom. And now when you pop that leg, it'll, it'll pop more leg. There you go. You got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah, boom, just like that. And then add a little bit of arch to that back. There you go, boom. Guys, we're shooting with, um, <laughs> We're shooting with natural light photography, man. Natural light. I'm talking too much. Doing natural light. I'm like, hold on, wait, what do I say? I'm talking too much. Oh my gosh, I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally like that, boom, like that. And you're going to have your shoulders back. When you pop your shoulders forward, it looks unflattering. So pop your shoulders forward so we can see how that looks. Pop, pop your shoulder forward. Boom, unflattering. Y'all see that? We don't like that. We don't like the, the forward, you know what I'm saying? That don't look good. Pop the shoulders back and look out. It looks nice and flattering. If you pop them in, you're all night, you're all closed up and hunched up. We don't like that. Pop them out to look more flattering. Some posing 101. Yeah. There we go. So that's that pose. You can do low angle, medium angle, high angle. Your client's gonna like one of those, okay? So I'm gonna next one I'm gonna have her do is right hand first, second hand, and you're gonna like pop your, your knee forward and you're gonna like arch into it, okay? Yep, just like that, just like that. And you're arching into it and then you're kind of looking over at me right here. And the way that I'm gonna line this up, you guys, is I'm gonna line up the leading lines to my subject to be able to get a nice shot, nice symmetrical shot. So I'm gonna go right here, line up these leading lines. And I also have the rule of thirds grid on my camera to be able to get some very nice shots here. That, I'm gonna go off to the side as well. And a lot of you guys may be thinking, why am I hanging over the edge? I'm hanging over the edge because I have this um, you know, camera strap that allows me to be able to hang over without anything happening. It's from PNG Culture. If you wanna check it out, go follow them boys. And uh, so I'm gonna get like a little bit low right here. Boom, yeah, it's like that. And I'm gonna do high as well. Boom, so make sure to get a low, medium, and high. Your clients can like one of the three. I'm gonna keep telling y'all that. This is the third one that I think you guys should try out as well. Oh, that looks kind of, that looks kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie. What is that? This looks like, this looks like, looks kind of like, that's kind of like, I like that. Let's try that out. <laughs> you guys, as I always zoom out from my fully zoomed in crop of 70 millimeters to 24, so you're able to get a little bit more of the scenery when I need to. So right here, I don't like to have my, um, you know, subject as, the 100% of the frame or 80% of the frame. I try to flip that. So instead of having an 80-20, I have a 20-80. I want to have 20% of my subject, my model in the frame, and then I want the 80% to be the rest of the ambiance of the area, okay? So that's just zooming out a bit, you know what I'm saying? Rather than zooming in and just making them feel everything, you want to zoom out and show a bit of scenery. And it looks a little bit something like this right here. Yes, there we go. This wind is really helping. Yes, just like so. Don't be afraid to zoom out, you guys sometimes but do not be afraid to zoom out yeah so when you pop that knee pop that pop it out yeah it's just like that and it's gonna give that curve yep hold it right there and then with this right hand instead of putting it on your thigh put it in this pocket so like, there's a pocket right here down a little bit more right there boom that little crease pocket put it right there 
Just like so, yep, hold it. Three, two, and one. Boom, stunning. There we go, yep, hold it. Stunning. And that's it for you guys. Let me know if you guys like poses like this and different things like this and videos like this, and I'll keep making more things like this without trying to talk too much. Until next time. Taxi! Yeah! So long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again, I say so, so long, long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye.